The quantitative G6PD test comes with the following equipment. The analyzer. And in a separate box, a code chip. A pack containing the extraction buffers, a pack containing the sample collectors, and the test devices. Check these haven't passed their expiry date. You'll also need gloves, lancets, alcohol, swabs, and a sharp spin. Check the number on the code chip matches the number on the test device foil pouch, and make sure the analyzer is turned off. Then insert the new code chip into the analyzer. Using new gloves for each patient, turn the analyzer on and insert the bigger part of the test device into the analyzer. Explain to your patient why and how you are doing the test and clean a finger of their non-dominant hand with an alcohol swab and allow to dry. Then prick the patient's finger. For increased sample purity, use the second drop of blood rather than the first. Use a new sample collector, hold it by the stem horizontally and gently touch the tip to the blood drop. Blood will automatically fill the sample collector to the black line. Stop only when it reaches the black line, 10 microliters. It's important to get the right amount of blood. Put the sample collector into the extraction buffer. Press and release the bulb of the sample collector 8 to 10 times to mix the blood with the extraction buffer. Take a new sample collector, hold it by the stem at a 25 to 30 degree angle and touch the tip to the mixed specimen. It will automatically fill to the black line. Stop only when it reaches the line. It's important to get the right amount of mix. Open the analyzer's flap and squeeze the bulb of the sample collector to empty the mixed specimen into the application hole of the test device. Close the flap immediately. The analyzer will now begin counting down two minutes. When the time is up, the analyzer will display the following information. The chip code number, the haemoglobin measurement in grams per deciliter, the date, and the G6PD result in units per gram of haemoglobin. Dispose used materials in appropriate containers. The G6PD test result will allow you to choose the appropriate radical cure treatment for a patient. If the G6PD value is 6 or higher, the patient has normal G6PD activity, and if the value is between 4 and 6, the patient has intermediate G6PD activity. If the value is less than 4, the patient has very low G6PD values. Anything greater than 4.0, and the patient is eligible for daily Primaquin, providing they are older than 6 months, not pregnant, or breastfeeding. Anything greater than 6.0, and the patient is eligible for tofenoquin treatment, providing they are 16 years and older, not pregnant or breastfeeding. Explain the test results and treatments to your patients. Patients should go to the health services immediately if they have any of the following signs. Coca-Cola coloured urine, yellow eyes or breathlessness.